we're back. We are back with Ken Sky and Richard Steele. And these guys are teaming up and they are going to give us a magic show today. Lauren, are you so excited about this? I'm so excited and what an amazing gift. Thank you guys so much for doing this. Yes, we need it so much. This year has been hard on all of us and we need a little fun and magic in our lives. Absolutely. I agree. So before we get started, we would like to just do a quick test to see if we're magically connected between Canada and Arizona. Is that all right. right with you? Yes, that's important. <laughs> all right, <laughs> Richard. So do you got something that we can try yeah, to yeah, tell me? I just grab this up here. Um, I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try. We're just we're just seeing if we're connected. Here we go. Good luck to us. Um, here, Ken, are you ready? Richard, you're I'm in ready. Arizona. Yeah, I'm in Arizona. Here we go, Ken. Go ahead and take. You got that? Yes. Okay. Okay. Did got it, it work? right there. Oh, Sometimes it turns when you teleport yeah. things, they turn invisible. But watch, we can make them visible. Just oh my gosh. Oh, thank goodness That's it's working. So cool. It's going to be a good day. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's amazing. So, um, this spoon has taught me a lesson that I will never forget in my life. And it's sometimes the things you take for granted that become really clear and obvious when they are taken away from you. Now, in January, I became a full-time magician and a speaker and a performer just to have my events all vanished from my calendar. But this has taught me an important lesson. We take a spoon, place it inside an envelope, just like that. And if we take a razor sharp butter knife, I'm going to attempt to pierce the knife through the spoon, just like this. And the magic words will be Orange County. One, two, three. Orange, Orange County. County. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Now, from over here, that looks pretty amazing. I don't know if that shows up on camera really well, too. Yeah, it, does. <laughs> it does. It does. It does indeed. Crazy. Now, it was Charles Darwin who said, it's not the most intelligent of a species that survive, not the strongest, but it is the ones most adaptable to change. And that's a lesson I will never forget. And it's also the answer on how this is done. How did that? How did you do that? You just poke the, the knife through it the fork. That's, that's how you do it. So it's very simple. And once you understand the fork. secret. <laughs> no way. That was Thank awesome. Thank you. I appreciate no, that. And no, our viewers are totally going to be taking their forks and spoons and trying to figure it out. <laughs> hey, it's a great activity at family gatherings. So. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You guys are definitely the most popular, too, at family gatherings. I have no doubt. Oh, I appreciate that. So <laughs> with that, we're going to switch over to Richard. And Richard, let's see what you got. <laughs> let's see what I got. Oh, well, you guys know it's been a crazy year for everybody. And I kind of got a, well, a little bored, I guess, if you want to call it that. Not necessarily bored, but well, I'll just show you. I, I, I took the time to uh, draw this little guy on a deck of cards. And I, I did it on every single card. I went through the entire pack to do this. And you can see he's drawn on every single card all the way through, which is crazy. Mm. But we're going to have you pick a card. And, and so um, let's see, Lauren, Yeah. would you mind uh, just the cards are in order just so you know, there's no. Uh, no fancy stuff. Fanciness there because he's just a stick figure. We're going to call him Fred. OK, so Fre Fred's not too quick in that area, so. Name any card that you want in the entire deck. Ace of Hearts. Ace of Hearts. We're going to go through there and find the Ace of Hearts. I'm going to do it this way so I can get a little better view for myself. There's the Ace of Diamonds, the Ace of... Oh, it's way at the bottom right there. Perfect. We're going to take the Ace of Hearts out. And we're just going to put it down on the table because it's no longer relevant. In fact, he's going to do a little magic trick for all of us together. Are you ready? This will be a lot of fun. Let's see. Here we go. Can you see Fred okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect, perfect. I'll bring him more center screen. He's going to find your card. Oh, he's taking his hat off, if you can see that. Oh, my and, God. Oh, my goodness. He's going in. He's going in, and he's found your card. I hope he's found your card. And, oh, yes, the Ace of Hearts. Truly amazing. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone. That's so much fun. Thanks, Richard. Do you have any 
to share with us? So Richard, I don't know if you've heard, but people sometimes say that the camera adds 10 pounds. <laughs> I've, now, I've, I've discovered that uh, it is um, especially true for lighters. So if you see, <laughs> I'll, I'll hold the lighter here for comparison. So it's about the size of my nose, roughly. Watch, if I bring it closer to the camera, you'll see that it looks much larger when it's close by the camera. It's like the, the Elmo near far thing. Mm. But without ever leaving the site. Whoa. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm second thought. My nose is not that big. Uh, but what? Let's, How did you do that? It's magic. It's just, oh uh, it's the way gosh. it looks. It's, a, it's all about the perspective, right? Wow. So, so you see my, my close-up pad here. Mind-bending. Mind-bending, indeed. So this, this story will be semi-true. Uh, the truth part is that I was in Las Vegas performing in February at a trade show floor along with Richard. We each had our, our client there, and it was just an amazing time. Always a blast. And Richard has taught me everything I know about trade shows, and so we worked together this, this event. And it was beautiful. And you know what they say, what happens in Vegas? Stays in, Stays Vegas. in Vegas. And I find that is also very true for money. So here's what I have left <laughs> over. <laughs> Some money I've left over from, from this trip. So there's one, two, three, four, and five dollars. It's not a whole lot, but luckily I happen to be a magician. And so don't take your eyes off the screen. Watch. One, two, and whoosh, three. What? There's one, two, <laughs> three, four. And wow, your family so definitely Richard, loves you. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> yes. How do I do that? I need to learn that one. <laughs> Absolutely. You just bring us all your money. We'll turn it into whatever you want. So <laughs> that's that's how it works, basically. And Richard, I think I'm ready for another trip. Are you? I think so. <laughs> Although $500 doesn't go far in Vegas. But uh, I'd love right. to have somebody help. And Amy, I'm going to ask you to help me out with something. Would you be okay oh, with that? Yes. So I have something special here that was sent to me for my birthday by my uncle in Paraguay. And he sent me one of my favorite candies, M&Ms. But to save on postage, he took out all the candy and he flattened the box and he shipped the box to me. Mm. That's not now, fair. it just sounds like the type of thing that my uncle would do, always sending me pranks and stuff. But he was my best friend growing up. And I always think of him when I do this uh, illusion. And we're going to... Draw an M&M &M and try some magic here. Okay. And this is for my uncle. So the shape of an M&M &M is, of course... Round. And it's also fitting for the holiday season coming up because we're going to be eating lots and lots of candy. Uh, how many eyes, Amy? Two. Two. How about a nose? Yeah, sounds great. Yes. Smile. How many arms? Two. Two. And legs? Two. Two. Okay, perfect. I, and by this, I know I learned a lot about you, Amy, because you're a, a person that fits very well into structure. Ah, uh, I do. How about some hair? Sure, why not? Because that would tickle when you eat him. But we can, uh, yeah. Some hair. Here's the most important part. What do we call the M&M? Ooh, Mike? Mike? Okay, perfect. Yeah. Mike. The second most important part is, of course, the flavor or the color. And we're going to leave that up to chance and up to you, Amy. Okay. If you could please give me a number between 1 and 16. I'll just tell you right now? Yes, please. Okay, 10. 10. Are you sure about that? Yes. Do you want to change your mind? Yes. You don't have to. I'm just saying in a moment, you're going to wonder what would have happened if I changed my mind. Okay. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What color is that? Red. Red. Now, if I pulled out this picture and it was red, would you be amazed? I would be amazed. So would I. Yes way. How is that even possible? That is so amazing. And that is Mike. Oh. Thank you. Now at this that point, 
Wow, that was amazing. I appreciate that. <laughs> At this point, you're probably wondering, ooh, what if I said nine or 11 or two? Ooh, I'm wondering if she's not. <laughs> I am wondering. Let's find out what, what would have happened. One. Well, I guess oh. there really isn't point counting anymore, is there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you for your help. A big round of applause for Amy for making all the right choices. <laughs> I know, right? This is just. This is a mind blowing day. What can I say? I know you're just warming up, but. <laughs> just I warming up. I don't want us to leave without hearing more about you and where our viewers can find you. So Richard, tell us, tell us what you actually do on your day to day. What's your favorite <laughs> magic to do? My and favorite magic. Okay. You? Um, my favorite magic is playing with my daughters, um, <laughs> truthfully, but I specialized in trade show marketing and drawing crowds to booths. So I'd be able to draw crowds of 50 to 500 people in five to 10 minutes to a booth and move those people to action. And since the uh, world has pivoted, I helped pivot with it. And Ken and I have worked together and he is uh, by far superior on the technical aspect and has helped me out in a great way, helping me do virtual shows as well. So now we're helping companies do things virtually, which is a lot more fun. And we're able to actually reach a bigger demographic across the world now. So we're not limited to, you know, airplane trips and hotels. So we're able to help companies look their best and also perform magic shows for them as well. So. That's amazing. And we will post your website, which is. RichardSteelMagic.com. Clear enough. And Ken Sky, the wizard of the virtual world. Oh, <laughs> I feel I'm speechless today. I'm just. <laughs> Just amazing. Magic always blows my mind. And I, I have to really stop myself from trying to analyze and try to figure out how it's done and just really, just, you know, really be grateful for people like you who can bring it to us. So thank you. Ken, tell us what, what's your magic magic? Well, that's a great point, uh, Lauren. And uh, if you stop trying to catch the magician, you can start enjoying the magic. And that's what it's all about. So yes, my background is also magic like Richard, but back in the day also I have a, a, techno, a technological background and I love doing video work and that type of thing. Um, music as well, I sing and, and perform, play guitar as well. And I've brought all of that together into this new product where I produce events virtually, both as an, a host, as a speaker, where more and more people are looking forward to having me share my my background story and do it in a motivational uh, way as well as magically and technically. And so, yes, I'm, I'm living in Canada with my two sons, Hannes and Heiko, and my wife, Luciana. And I love being able to work from home in so many ways because in Winnipeg, it gets really, really cold in wintertime. And for me to be able to walk 15 feet to my studio and the world is in front of me is amazing i mean i just look if you imagine the lens and you can focus on what is sharp and focused you can see the lights in the background blurred out but if you take that lens in front of you and you focus on the positives and the things that are possible then the things that are not possible or, or that are worrisome kind of blur away and that's how i like to look at things that's amazing and we can find you at kensky.com that is k-e-n-s-k-y.com Perfect. We will post both your websites on our website and along with the segment. So thank you guys so much. We're so grateful for this gift. And I hope Real you pleasure. Have wonderful holidays and a blessed new year for all of us. That's right. Thank you. Thank you, you so thank much. Thank you guys. Thank you.